UN's nuclear watchdog has called for an end to drone attacks on the Zaporizhia nuclear plant in Russian-occupied Ukraine. The International Atomic Energy Agency said drones hit a reactor building in Europe's biggest nuclear power station on Sunday. Direct attacks against the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant marked a major escalation of the nuclear safety and security dangers in Ukraine, significantly increasing the risk of a nuclear accident. We are meeting today, and I will meet the United Nations Security Council next week, because it is of paramount importance to ensure these reckless attacks do not mark the beginning of a new and gravely dangerous front of the war. Let's bring in Gabriel Elizondo, who's joining us now from the U.N. headquarters in New York. So, Gabriel, the IAEA is to meet the U.N. Security Council, having given another warning about Zaporizhia. What are we likely to get from that meeting? Well, first and foremost, uh, Rafael Grossi will be here in New York to brief the Security Council, and most likely he will be giving more detail about what the IAEA knows about these uh, most recent uh, drone attacks that have really caught the attention of a lot of council members uh, who are looking at this very closely with concern, quite frankly, but also to give a picture of the scenarios that could play out in the future and how to protect uh, the safety in and around the nuclear power plant. Of course, uh, the IAEA saying that uh, as of now, uh, nuclear safety has not been compromised. That's important to point out because of these most recent drone attacks, but that could could certainly change at any time as it's been going, an ongoing situation for many, many months now, this worry about that uh, nuclear power plant and its safety. Bottom line, though, is uh, Grossi will be here in New York addressing the Security Council in open session, giving him a briefing on what he and the IAEA in general knows. Grossi also, I should be pointing out on Monday, will be speaking to journalists here in New York as well. So it'll be an important meeting for the Security Council to get updated on this very uh, critical situation surrounding Europe's largest nuclear power plant. Not a day passes without airstrikes, shattering the lives of yet more families across the country. In Kharkiv, Kherson, Kyiv, Lviv, Mykolaiv, Odessa, Zaporizhia, Donetsk, and Dnipro, wave after massive wave of attacks continue to kill and injure civilians and cause widespread damage and destruction to civilian, critical civilian infrastructure. No region in Ukraine has been spared by this war. And Gabriel, we were just hearing uh, remarks on the humanitarian situation in Ukraine. Uh, what more can we expect from that meeting or, or uh, what's happened? Yeah, what you just heard there was uh, from today here in uh, in New York in the Security Council. Uh, that was uh, from Edam Warsuno, the director of operations for the Office of the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs. She was briefing the Security Council on the humanitarian situation in Ukraine. That was a meeting that was called by France and Ecuador, uh, and she really painted a difficult situation that's on the ground there for in the humanitarian situation in Ukraine. She said just in March there were 126 civilians that were killed, 476 civilians injured. That's an increase of 20 percent from the month before. And she really pointed out how children uh, are now bearing a lot of the brunt of the injuries and deaths. Unfortunately, uh, 57 kids uh, were killed or injured last month alone in Ukraine because of the ongoing conflict, and that is double uh, from the month before. Overall, the humanitarian situation is getting very difficult and continues to be difficult in Ukraine. About 14 million people, or 40 percent of the entire population, is in need of some sort of humanitarian aid. And she ended her briefing by saying, telling the Security Council or asking them, do not let this war grind on uh, in perpetuity. 
of course, that is sort of what is happening at this stage, and it's a continual, continuous uh, uh, a difficulty for the Security Council, if you will, because, of course, uh, Russia uh, is on the Security Council and has uh, can uh, veto any actions by the Security Council that it deems against its interests. So that's been a long time of uh, frustration from some other Security Council members, but uh, essentially the humanitarian situation on the ground in Ukraine uh, is not getting any better. In fact, uh, from the latest briefing here to the Council, it's very much getting worse. Okay, thank you. Gabriel Elizondo, thanks for that update from the UN. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.